What's going on guys? It's Wednesday morning. It's snowing. Pretty gross out. Of course I have the Lamborghini Gay Lorado. So, not good in the snow. Um, but the roads weren't bad. We had a two hour delay so I got to sleep in for two hours which was nice. And yeah, that's about it. Um, hopefully today it doesn't drag on because I want to get out of school. Hopefully I get to go pick up the Audi today. Get that call. Like, praying. There's a tire back there. That's the tire from football. Uh, you can't really see it, but yeah. Someone rolled that thing all the way back into the student parking lot. That's a long distance. Let's go. What's going on, guys? So, I got out of school, came home. Um, right now, I'm going to be heading out to Connecticut. I don't know where. Some part of Connecticut's out. Actually, like... About 20 minutes, 10 minutes. It's one exit before the exit of where I bought my car from. So, I'll go out there um, to take pictures of my mom's horse that she's trying to sell. Just help her out. That's it. Uh, might do a couple of other things on the way. I know I'm hungry, so I gotta stop somewhere and get some food. Guys, this rig just blew out his tires and they're literally sparking all over the highway. All you can smell is tire. Look at that. Oh my god. That's so bad. He probably has no idea. What's going on guys? So I got out of school today. Um, I didn't film this morning. Come on girls. Go. Go. I got out of school today. Um, I didn't film this morning because I was running late and can't be late to school because I'm already failing. Um, so that's why I didn't film this morning. When I got out of school I just ran to the bank. Um, well, went to work, got my check, ran to the bank. Now I'm just home. Not doing anything really, just messing around on Instagram, trying to get more followers. Right now I'm at 1,600. Not bad. Uh, I pick up the Audi tomorrow, and that sure as hell will be in the video because I miss that car so much. I can't wait to have it back. What's going on, everyone? It's a uh, Friday morning. <sighs> Sorry. Um. Today's the day I get my car back, hopefully. Um, the shop said today will be the day, as long as everything goes accordingly. I just, my mom has to call him at lunch and make sure everything's all set. And then um, I'm gonna work out, go pick my mom up in her car after she drops off the rental. And then we're, she's gonna drive me over to the shop. And then I'm gonna pick up my car and go get it. And I'm so happy just to finally get it. I already ordered license plate lights for it because that guy stole mine. I ordered LED ones this time. Hopefully no one steals these because they were 20 bucks. I swear to God, if someone steals them to mess with me at like the school or something, I'd be pissed. But yeah, now that I said it, it's probably going to happen. Um, I'm going to go into school. Today's the last day to make up grades. So I have to try and... uh get my math grade up not gonna happen but we'll see what's going on guys so I'm so happy I'm going to pick up my car right now it's been like two I think exactly a little bit over two weeks now and I finally get it back don't have to drive the gay Lorado anymore um, I just ordered license plate lights for it too so if I get pulled over I can show the cop that I ordered them and it's getting fixed uh, I ordered my Instagram handle for it sticker and I also ordered another sticker JDM sticker to go on the back I mean I'm not planning on keeping the car much longer but I figure while I have it I might as well make the best of it and try to maybe make it nice enough where I can keep that and get a truck at the same time or get more for it what's going on everyone she's back 
it's so weird going from a crappy stick to like a nice one, but she's back. Ooh, they waxed and everything like puffed out all scratches. There used to be scratches right here, but they buffed it out. And then the actual rear bumper came out flawless. Like it's so nice. Oh my god, and they buffed the trunk. All the scratches that were on the trunk came out. The whole car just came out so good. It's really making me debate on selling it now. I don't think your boy can do it. Oh my god, it looks so good. Just that, that angle. Oh my god. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, I'm pretty hyped I got, got the car back. I'm driving it to the grocery store. Usually I never drive it there because cops, but you know what? I'm celebrating. If I get pulled over, I get pulled over. Um, whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed that little cold start. If it's windy, I'm sorry. I'm um, heading over across the street from my work parking lot. Curb my rim pulling into my work parking lot this morning. You tell I'm not used to driving my car again. Never like curbed rims on any of my cars. And then pulling into work this morning, backing up into my spot. I slightly, slightly curbed my front rim and I'm just irritated about that. I'm gonna go hang out with one of my friend, friends today with an MR2, his name's John. Uh, right now I'm just heading over here to get a picture for Instagram. It's gonna be basic, but you guys will see why right about now. It says, I love you, marry me. It's a pretty basic picture, but... Gotta get my Instagram up. I'm almost at 2, 2K from 1K a week ago? Let's go. It's the middle of January and it's like 50 degrees out. It's like ridiculously nice. I got my basic pictures done. Instagram followers gonna go oh. I'm hyped um, Walking over my car right now. I've been letting it run just to warm up a little bit when I went over there I'll Show you guys the curb rash <laughs> Get ready to cry probably won't even be able to see it on camera. I Can't even find it. It's just right there just a little bit yeah. Poor car using her. What's going on guys, so uh we uh, came up to Airport Hill with John and Edwin. John ripped the MR2. You wanna wanna show them around the MR2? All right. First, there's no rust here. None. That that that's not rust. <laughs> there there this this right here. That's not a soda can. Okay. <laughs> not that either. Or that. We didn't rivet that on in the summer to pass inspection. And then you got the oh blue yeah. interior. Rocking the 88. Oh yeah. It doesn't smell like anything in this car at all, you know. Okay, let's go up. Oh, oh. Let me show you the engine real quick. The 80s pop-up headlights. That engine? Oh, is there an engine up front? Yeah, what? it's got like a what? wheel, like snowboard boots. Sno engine, snowboard boots? Oh, and all your gear because you're an instructor? Yeah. Not really. Thought you instructed people. Like, no more soda cans there either. It looks this, better on this side. Yeah, it, it looks it looks great on this side. Not a big ass dent right here. Th there's no dent there. Actually, can't you? Oh, uh, you can sort of see it. This is where the air goes. Yeah, there's a little fan back there. Gives us horsepower. About ten horsepower, right? Ten. Yeah, right. Four AGE. Oh. JDM is fucked. This is a sixteen valve. Sixteen valve. Dirty as hell. Dirty. Dirty. Dirty four banger. Oh, oh, I like that. And then we got the Audi parked up behind it. Looking dirty because it rained this morning. But you can see the rear bumper. No more screw holes. Looking good. This sticker is getting taken off sometime this week, and I'm replacing it with something way better. Um. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> the airport's right over there. Yeah. Hope you guys like the MR2 because there'll be more of this car.
What do you think? More of the MR2 to come on the channel? Oh yeah. More drifting? More drifting, more pin in the ass, fucking engine bay. More snap over steering? No. <laughs>stopped at mcdonald's john blessed and bought a mcchicken edwin blessed. what kind of mcchicken you get no mayonnaise who gets no mayonnaise on a mcchicken i mean i know someone that gets nothing on a mcchicken that's even weirder <laughs> devin you know who you are devin um but we bought a roll out crew some more oh, there, yeah, we saw a gtr that was sick yeah, was <laughs> edwin ate all the fries um Throw that shit out. <laughs> we saw a GTR, we saw a Slam <laughs> Civic, <laughs> a couple of nice cars that we saw. Um, we're about to cruise for longer. Don't know where we're gonna end up. We'll see. What's going on, guys? So I didn't film last night for the rest of the night. We went and played pool, and then the Audi's having problems where it's overheating. Um, I think my water pump is blown or something. We're gonna check the compression to a leak down test today. Well, I had to pull it up into the mud today. Just because, and then I freaking forgot my sunroof open last night. And as you can tell, it rained. So not good, but we opened the car. Let's go. It's not wet in here. So we're okay. But yeah, something's wrong with her. She's overheating when I drive her. Um, it's worse when I slow down. When I speed up, it's not as bad. So that's what's making us think. Um... That's what's making us think that it's my, uh... It smells weird in here. Thinking it's my water pump. Even though the timing was just done on it. What's going on, guys? So, I just got back from my grandparents. I didn't film anything there, because... They're basically scolding me on my car about how I've gone through three cars in a little bit over a year, and just I didn't really feel like filming. Um, I'm going to take the B5, start it up, drive it around, turn it around, pull it into the dirt driveway. It's starting to get cold now, but I gotta get this done, so I don't know. Let's try to, I'm gonna, I have to bring it down to the bank parking lot, so a little bit of a drive. Let's see if it heats up still. Get in. Oh, my clutch seems stiff. Starts fine. Everything seems normal. What's going on guys? So, it started to rain so I didn't film working on my car, but basically I took it out, drove it. Drove it for probably 15 minutes. Got it about three quarters of the way up to operating temperature, or 10 minutes, about 10 minutes. Got it three quarters of the way up to operating temperature. Like, that's about normal. It doesn't, it should heat up way faster than something was wrong. Um. Parked it, let it run for about 15 minutes. Got up, to, it stayed at operating temperature, and I was like, huh. Okay, that's weird. Let it run for another 15 minutes. Didn't move. Actually, it went down a little bit from operating, but it pretty much plateaued at operating. I was like, all right, whatever, it's fine. I'll, gotta try, I'll shut it off, let it cool down, and check it. So I shut it off, let it cool down, checked my oil, Oil's fine, no discoloration, no foam, no steam, nothing. Uh, checked my coolant. It was a tad bit low, it was on the it was on the low mark of the expansion tank. So I added some G12 to it. Right to the proper max line, whatever you want to call it. Um then started back up, let it run for about 15 minutes again. Went and drove it this time for about half hour. This time when I was driving it, there's still a little side story. A cop pulled off of the highway behind me, I didn't realize. We were on a hill, so I got on my car off the hill just so I wouldn't roll back at all. 
because there was a car behind me. I didn't know what it was, and it was a Stady. So I was like, as soon as I realized it, I was like, oh my god. And he started to roll behind me real slow, and then he pulled off to the side of me when we came to a stop, because it was two lanes. And he parked his door at my exhaust, like, so he would hear how loud it was. And I just took off, like, slightly, like, almost stalled, and then shifted at a thousand RPMs and just bogged it the whole time. And he just kind of drove by and gave me the look. And I, I just kind of mind my own business, kept on driving. He ain't going to catch me today. Um, but, yeah, so I drove it around for another half hour, stopped at a pizza shop, waited outside while my mom went in and grabbed pizza, uh, stayed, let the car run, 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 drove it home, got on it a little bit, still stayed at middle, didn't move, perfect 190, I don't know what's wrong with it, I don't think there's anything wrong, I think maybe it was a sensor, because, like, when I plugged the code scanner in, it was reading about what the temperature should be. So I think maybe my sensors were just messing up yesterday. I don't know. I'm definitely not going to stop looking at it. Um, going to run a compression test still and a leak down test just to make sure. Be positive. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, this is going to be the end of this vlog. New vlog starting for this week. Uh, it's probably going to be another week-long vlog if nothing exciting happens. Maybe some exciting stuff will happen. I don't know. Uh, John and I were talking. We may build a turbo race car out of a Chrysler Sebring he has. That'll be in the summertime. Stay tuned for that. So, that'll be fun. But, um, please leave a like down below. Comment. What do you think my possible problem could be? I mean, I think it's a sensor. And, uh, of course, share, you know, if you th with your friends if you think they'll enjoy it. And, of course, always, you know. Subscribe to the channel. Help a bro out. Alright guys, peace out, and I'll see you in the next one.